gold and silver so far for the day has been trading with a modest bearish buy so you've seen gold moving towards 2152 while silver towards 2480 2475 zone the critical support levels now what to expect from gold and silver today with the us session and specifically with the uh, interest rate projections and interest rate declaration along with the chairman paul's speech so yes what is going to be our strategy in order to profit trading gold and silver today we will see with the help of charts and indicators this is the second update for the day those who would watch the first update must have profited thus in order to get the notifications do subscribe and press the bell icon do like share and comment it's a great motivation let's start first gold followed with silver watch till the end and if you have not joined the free channel memberships on telegram join the free channel and get the live notifications and be a part of the channel memberships here on youtube and support the effort press the join button let's start See, on the early charts, if you look at gold, see drop, retracement, then higher lows, then lower highs, then higher lows. Clearly, this is consolidation which is going on. So, uh, we are waiting for a breakout. A breakout below 2145, this is a clear indication that we are looking forward to a sharp drop and a break above 2165. We can say now gold is trying to bounce back or rise. Yes, it is under consolidation. We have to be careful in between this zone specifically. If you look at the stock ASIC, this has dropped. The MACD is divergent and bearish. RSI has dropped here. And on the two hour charts, moving averages, yes, are trading with divergence and bearishness. And prices are getting stronger resistance at the moving averages. So, yes, it is very, very important for now for gold to stay above 2160-65 zone in order to confirm a rise. A stock ASIC here dropped sharply. MACD is in green trying to cross over for sell rsi flat coming to three likewise on the three hrc now the moving averages are on the verge of a crossover these have not yet crossed over also we can see clearly lower highs and higher lows so now we have to wait patiently for gold to break below 2150 2145 zone in order to confirm the drop here and about 2160 65 in order to confirm the rise very clear we have got our zone here Let's see furthermore, stochastic dropping here, MACD is in green trying to cross over for sale, RSI has dropped, coming to 4, similar is the indication here on the 4 hour charts as well, consolidation undergoing right now. And if you look at the 4 hour charts, another observation here is, see the stronger rise, see the flag formation here, and uh, break out out of this flag formation, it will continue the direction which it is taken. So you have to be careful here, a stock ASIC near to overbought, MACD almost running flat and RSI looking downwards coming to daily now on the daily charts couple of observations and before we look into daily charts see if you want to learn this art of trading you can be part of my 30th mentorship batch starting first week of april where we focus on only two things first is to give you the skills so that you can identify the profitable trades with ease and second is to help you trade profitably and give you the trade setups which can help you do so so do not miss this opportunity, join the mentorship batch and if you just want to trade as per the signals, you can be part of my signals channel on Telegram. Write an email or ping me on Telegram for your queries related to the services. Those who had asked me to recommend a safe broker which where the transactions and withdrawals are easier, which is available across the globe, which offers all the global instruments to be traded and yes, which has a, offers a swap free account with the lowest spreads. You can join the recommended broker link and if you join through the link, you will get the lowest spreads. Now look at the daily charts, see symmetrical formation here. You can find out symmetry is created, identical candles are formed and this I had mentioned in my yesterday's analysis that it might close at around the same levels. It did the same thing. Now interestingly what it has also done is it has created lower highs and higher lows. So this is also a sign of consolidation. Now what it has done today it has started with the lower highs and it has resumed its downward move. Now we have to wait it can continue to do so uh, moving towards 48 or 45 zone but again it needs to break below 2145 in order to confirm the because once gold breaks below 2145, we can say that it may try to move towards the 20 period moving average sitting at around 2132-34 zone, which is going to be a great support and thus we have to wait. At the same time, one must note after the drop, it has done enough consolidation and a breakout about 2165 is where you can say now the prices are reversing. So in between this zone, we have to be extremely, extremely careful. The stock stick is rising here. Look at MACD. Interestingly, MACD on the daily charts has crossed over. It is diverging here. It is just set two candles away. This suggests that there is increasing bearishness. Also, this is coming after see the rise, retracement and a rise. And now it has crossed over at a slightly higher level. This suggests that it can continue with the downward move. 
so at current levels we have to be slight cautious and watchful rsi just coming out of the overbought zone so consider a buying entry can be taken at around 2160 however we have to be very very careful very very alert 62.5 and 65 very nearby resistances and once gold stays about 2165 you can say that now it is trying to take a shape and we will be looking forward to 2171 71.5 as the first targets and then 2175.5 is the next beyond that it is going to break beyond 2180 85 levels if gold breaks beyond 2180 85 consider that double top is must that is 2195 is must and beyond that sky is the limit yes it can continue to do so on the upside however as long as as long as 2180 is not breached you should be careful it can show you the swings as well it can be a swingful day it can show you stronger swings thus on the downside where to take a sell see you can sell here at 2150 but you have to be very very careful at around 2147.5 2145 and once it breaks below 2145 you can say now the bears will try to take over we will look forward to 2138 at the first target 2132 33 as the next targets and below that 2125 below 2125 there could be a sharper drop which can in fact take the prices towards 2100 dollars so take your positions accordingly now let's have a look at silver silver on the hourly chart see moving averages have crossed over trading with divergence and bearishness and if you can notice here drop consolidation or retracement drop consolidation or retracement thus only reversal confirmation is if you see silver staying above 2490 25 dollar levels rather i will recommend a buying entry at only 2490 or rather i will say 25 dollar levels you can buy somewhere here and expect it to continue on the upside as long as this zone between 2490 25 dollar levels is respected we have to be extremely careful this is the only about entry points beyond this 25 10 2520 and yes once silver break out beyond 2520 you can say it is reversing and a rally towards 2550 and higher levels can be seen the stock is still rising macd has also retraced and right now it is trading bearish i will look forward to a bullish crossover rsi has dropped coming to 2 r likewise on the 2 r charts see moving averages have converged here not yet crossed over and are still showing signs of a revival right now we can see the support levels at 2480 are playing out an important role and definitely these are very very good support we have seen in the recent time so yes silver right now is trading in box it has to come out of this box in order to stay bearish if you look at the stock i stick it has dropped sharply macd is bearish here rsi has dropped here coming to 3r on the 3r charts here you can find out consolidation going on at see 2480 2470 zone proving out to be a great great support for silver so yes uh for bearishness it has to drop below these support levels and even if silver drops below 24 8070 zone remember 24 40 and 50 are the two levels it needs to break in order to confirm the bearishness also one must notice see there is a liquidity gap here so possibly once it drops below 24 uh 70 levels you can see it moving towards this zone and it can nullify the gains towards 24 20 but right now i will still say it is not confirming bearishness it is still forming a flag formation and thus breaking beyond 25 slight bullishness may be seen a stock is still dropping sharp macd is bearish rsi is dropped on the 4 hour chart similar observation here on the 4 hour chart just one point to note see a uh, drop here retracement and second bearish candle also it is forming a good base we have to be careful around this zone specifically between 24 70 80 and 25 uh, 25 20 the stock is still rising macd is divergent and bearish it has seen a good dip and rsi is dropped coming to daily now if you look at daily charts see one point you should note so far for the day we have already seen higher lows and now lower highs means it can move towards 25 25 10 however still we should not confirm this as bearish yes we should not confirm this as bearish uh, air or either bullish only thing is it has to stay about 25 20 in order to confirm the reversal and once it trades about 25 20 then only we can say that it is reversing here on the downside support levels are definitely stronger here at 24 1870 so then yes once it breaks below we can see the support levels are coming into picture also one must notice on the daily chart see higher lows higher highs it is beautifully positioned in this bullish channel so do not read this as bearish as well moving average is divergent in bullish stock has taken has dropped macd now look at macd uh yes these are the peaks from where it has crossed over re in recent times and always try to show a dip so let's see if it crosses over here rsi dropping considering this 
we have to watch out at 24780 you can sell here at 2475 or 2470 levels and expect it to move towards 2454 as long as 2440 is respected we have to put just a 10 cents trailing stop loss as we know that it can bounce back any point of time on the upside you can buy below 2440 is where we can look forward to 24 24 uh, 2380 levels at the next targets on the upside i'll recommend a buying entry if you see silver is staying above 20 five dollar levels yes you can buy here but then be be careful as long as 25 20 25 30 zone is not breached till then you have to be cautious alert you have to put your stop losses at your entry price and once it breaks beyond 25 30 you can say 25 50 25 60 the next target 25 75 80 the next and beyond this 26 26 20 levels will be seen take your positions accordingly like share subscribe and comment join my mentorship bad signals channel Reach out to me for any of your queries. Do watch the morning update with the Asia and Europe session. Definitely it will add a lot much of meaning to your trading decisions. Thank you. Have a great profitable trading day. See you again tomorrow. Trade with caution. Trade with a stop loss and a tailing stop.